Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you be notified when I drop that heat. Now, I read an article recently, and it was talking about Amir Khan versus Kell Brook, the negotiations, and it was saying that everything was going good, but there was one problem. One problem. Amir Khan wants a rehydration clause in the contract for Kell Brook. Amir Khan is getting on my goddamn nerves, man. Like he's he's getting on my damn nerves, man. Like this is beyond diva shit. Like this is beyond diva shit. Like I don't know if. Amir Khan and Kell Brook met each other in the streets and Kell Brook whipped his ass or they had a sparring session and Kell Brook whipped his ass. But Amir Khan is acting like Kell Brook is the boogeyman. Like he's acting like Kell Brook is the boogeyman. He finds every excuse in the book to not finalize a deal with Kell Brook. And this shit is getting on my damn nerves. This shit is getting on my damn nerves. And I'm not even I'm not even in the UK. Like the UK fans will never forgive American if he don't make this Kell Brook fight happen. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not even picking on American. Like I understand the business side. I understand that there's a lot of different things that goes into making a fight. American signs with Kell Brook's promoter. Like he signs with Eddie Hearn. I'm assuming to make that fight, I don't see Eddie Hearn signing Amir Khan unless the Kell Brook fight is on the table and it's going to go down. I don't even think Eddie Hearn will waste his time or his money because that's the money fight. This is my problem with Amir Khan. requesting a rehydration clause against Kell Brook. And this is just proof that I'm not picking on Amir Khan. Amir Khan will go up in the ring against anybody and he fight balls to the wall whenever he gets into the ring, man. I love Amir Khan when he steps inside of the ring because he could give you a boxing clinic or it can be chin glass all over the ring. And you never know what you won't get with Amir Khan, man. But the dude got courage. He got heart. And he don't back down from anybody. But this is proof why I say I'm not picking on Amir Khan. Check this out. Amir Khan fought Canelo Alvarez. He didn't ask for a rehydration clause. Now, I'm just mentioning the big fights. I'm not going to mention no small-time fights. And I'm going to take it back, too. Canelo Alvarez. 2016 he didn't ask for a rehydration clause Canelo Alvarez walks around at 180 190 and he he fought Canelo Alvarez at middleweight fought him at middleweight at 160 pounds he fought him didn't ask for no rehydration clause and nothing against Saul Canelo Alvarez and it was rumors back then that Saul Canelo Alvarez was, was on, on the finest juices, on the finest juices. He still didn't ask for a rehydration clause. I'm going to go to some other welterweight fights. Chris Algieri, he didn't ask for no rehydration clause. Devin Alexander, he didn't ask for no rehydration clause. He fought Luis Colazo at welterweight. No rehydration clause. I'll even take it back further than that when he was fighting at 140. He fought Danny Garcia. No rehydration clause. Lamont Peterson, Zab Judah, Chino Maidana, Pauli Malinaji, Andre Kotelnik, Marco Antonio Barrera, if you want to go back further than that. The man has never asked 
for a rehydration clause in his life. In his life. Never asked for a rehydration clause. And to cap it off, he's not going to be fighting a Kell Brook that's a natural middleweight or a mat natural super middleweight. Both of those guys have been fighting at 147 the majority of their career. The majority of their career. Even when Kell Brook went up to fight Triple G, he didn't ask for a rehydration clause. Amir Khan is finding every reason not to make this fight, and I just gave y'all the proof why I'm not picking on the man. Bottom line, if you want to make the fight, make the fucking fight. Like, make the fight. You have no other money fight out there. And, and you know what? I'm going to take this even further because I forgot this. You think Amir Khan going to ask Floyd Mayweather for, for a rehydration clause? He was stalking Floyd Mayweather for years. Did you hear Floyd Mayweather and rehydration clause in the same sentence with Amir Khan? Hell no. He just said recently that he wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Have you heard Amir Khan mention Manny Pacquiao and a rehydration clause in the same sentence? Hell no. That's even further proof that Amir Khan is on that bullshit. Now, I don't care who you are. I keep it a bean. All I ask from people is to stay consistent with your opinion. Amir Khan is pulling some shit that he's never pulled before, period. So until Amir Khan signs this contract to fight Kell Brook, I don't want to hear Amir Khan talk about no Manny Pacquiao. I don't want to hear him talking about no Floyd Mayweather. I don't want to hear him talking about no Earl Spence or nobody else at Welterweight. And if you see Kell Brook in the streets, Amir Khan, you don't have the liberty to say shit. You can't talk shit to Kell Brook. You can't talk shit to Kell Brook at the end of the day because... You don't want to jump in the ring over a rehydration clause over a natural 147 pounder just like you? Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to continue to cover this shit because I, I like Amir Khan even though I bash the shit out of him in this video. But it's all facts though. And I, I fuck with Kell Brook too. But Amir Khan on that bullshit. He's on that bullshit and that's just the bottom line of it. And I'm pretty sure there's other people calling him out. But it's G5 Jeff TV calling out Amir Khan. Quit with the bullshit, man. Sign the contract, man. Let's make it happen. It's about to be 2019. Hell, make it for summer 2019, man. That'd be a great storyline, great fight, great situation. That's a legacy fight for both guys, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.